Good afternoon, Colonel Country, and welcome to another episode of Colonel's Corner. On today's episode, we'll be recapping the Wilkes University football team's 38-21 win over Hartwick College in Week 1, and looking ahead to the Colonel's Week 2 home opener against Lebanon Valley College. Our guest today is head coach John Drock. Coach, thanks for joining us. Hey, Adam, how you doing? No, oh, I'm doing great, thank you. Now, Coach, what was your first reaction to our Week 1 win, which was our first season opening victory since the 2013 season? Um, I thought we played really well. Um, I thought as a whole we controlled the ball. We didn't make too many mistakes that really, really hurt us. We had some penalties and stuff here and there that were costly, but uh, I think as a whole we played really, really well. Uh, I thought all three aspects of the game, between the kicking game, the defense, and the offense, um, really improved throughout the course of camp, and we saw that on Hartwick last week. Now talking about the defensive side of the ball, the run support really showed up, holding Hartwick to just 2.6 yards per carry and one first down on the ground. What can you say about the preparation by our coaches and the execution by our players? I thought we had a really, really good plan. And then, like I said in the preview before, that's our veteran group. So, I mean, that front seven uh, does a fantastic job of knowing what we need to do, of executing their techniques, and they are the core of our defensive unit. Um, I think they did a fantastic job, and they forced uh, Hartwick into being one-dimensional. Um, and they played with a bend but don't break attitude. You know what I mean? They gave up some yards and stuff here and there, but when it came down to it, they only gave up 21 points, and that was plenty enough for us to win. Now on the offensive side of the ball, we lost our top receiver from last year in Jeff Steber. But junior Nick Yannick had a huge game with 10 receptions for 228 yards and a touchdown. Can you talk to his effort and the chemistry developed by Yannick and quarterback Jose Tabora throughout camp? Yeah, I think that, I mean, Nick was a big aspect in our offense last year. You know what I mean? I think that, I believe he had almost 40 catches or 50 catches almost last year as well. So um, he's a guy that does a great job in space, um, and I don't know that they're quite ready for them in the middle of the field, and he did a great job of catching the football. Him and Jose have a great rapport, and the fact they know where each other are going to be, they trust each other, you know what I mean? And um, he runs the right routes, and he does things technically sound, and that's why he had such a productive day. And now speaking to our ground game, we have a young group of running backs that produced 141 yards and three touchdowns. What did you see from them? And building off of that, the performance by our experienced offensive line, which we talked about during our preview. Yeah, um, I thought we controlled people on the front. You know, we covered people up and gave our backs lanes to run the football. Um, and those guys did a great job of finding those lanes. Um, we played very, very physical on the front. We're a little bit bigger in the backfield this year um, with Jeremiah Acker and Kamal Reed. Those guys are just a little bit bigger bodies. They can run through arm tackles, uh, and they did a good job of finishing runs, runs that may have been one and two runs, what yard runs last year were probably four and five yard runs this year because of their physicality. And that put us in a lot of second and makeables. That's one of the reasons our third down percentage was so high. And now, looking ahead to week two, we host Lebanon Valley this weekend, a team that opened its season with a 35-20 to loss to Franklin and Marshall. What have we seen from the film, and what do we need to do to come out with a victory? Uh, we got to stop them from running the football. They're a talented running football team uh, on the offensive side of the ball. Um, they have the leading rusher in the league right now. I believe he ran for about 165 yards last week and had a couple of really big runs and one or two big catches as well. Um, He's a dynamic force. Uh, he's a big physical running back, uh, and he finishes runs as well. Um, if we can get some pressure in the backfield uh, and make them uncomfortable uh, and make them hopefully be one-dimensional as well, that would be the goal. Um, on the defensive side of the ball, uh, they are a little bit younger on their defensive front, so we need to control the clock. Uh, we need to run the football, uh, put ourselves in third makeable situations and continue to drive up that third down percentage, keep our defense on the field, and keep our offense on the field. And we're definitely excited to see how the 2019 home season opens. Wilkes University football team opens their 2019 home season this Saturday against Lebanon Valley from Schmidt Stadium with a 12 p.m. kickoff on Family Day. Coach, thanks for joining us, and good luck this weekend. Thank you.